Thank you, Father. Uh, to God be the glory. To God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Let's say this. Let's see how this. Uh, uh today we i thank all of you i thank you thank you thank you happy sunday happy sunday to everyone yes thank you god bless you all uh, today we will discuss uh, the power of uh, priesthood uh, yes the power of priesthood you know this topic is uh, is uh, very deep as usual, and uh, we are going to try to uh, explain the best way we can we could so that uh, the people concerned we hear the word. All right, the message is uh, is for those of us who are holding power, those people who have the power to do things. All right, those people who have the power to, to you know, to do things spiritually. All right, so this is a message for them. All right, this was this message uh, was not planned to, to upset you. You are holding power and you are using the power in the negative way. This message was not designed to upset you to make you angry. All right it is a knowledge so that you know uh, your position huh? as to help you uh, make the right choice all right because we know that all power belongs to God so the power you are holding belongs to God all right so with this message if we can come together and uh, discuss it it will help us to understand uh, our position with God, all right? Because the power that has been given to you, that you have today, was given to you to heal, to, to lift burden, to, to bless people, all right? So, we both know that somehow Satan has jacked the power through the ignorance of uh, the the disobedient priest and then he decided to use the knowledge to affect people negatively so this message will help you to know your position and then by the grace of god we'll be able to uh, come to a conclusion all right so it doesn't matter who you are what position you hold you can comment you can tell us what you think all right let us reason together let us do this because we are here in the world we can we must help each other all right we understand there are so many people holding powers uh, they find themselves in a position where they consider evil things as a culture all right a way of life so they do evil they commit crime they do so many things the key they steal and they destroy, believing that they have fulfilled their, their obligation in their culture. All right? So we, should, we must consider this as a something so, so important. So that is why this message is out. All right? So please. I believe that at the end of this message, God Almighty will touch you so that you have the full knowledge of God. As to connect your heart to Jesus Christ, which is the higher priesthood. All right, please. So let us do this. We will take our text from the book of uh, Exodus, chapter twenty-nine, verse twenty-nine. Uh, Exodus, chapter twenty-nine, verse twenty-nine. I read: The holy garment of Aaron shall be far, shall be for his sons after him. They shall be anointed in them and ordained in them. Now, the priesthood, the power that we will have today, was actually given by God. And uh, 
there were order put in place, you know, in order to control the power. According to the word of God in the book of Aaron, they were to be given to, you know, to transfer. It was, the power was transferable, all right? So whoever holds the power, you can transfer it to your, to your lineage. Whoever you think is qualified, you transfer the power to them. That is the way God uh, put it. And this was good. All right? So with this kind of uh, authority given by God, the priest will not have the ability to perform the sacred rituals. You know, sometimes they be able to clean sins. For those people that commit sin, they come to the priest. And then they, they will be able to clean their sins. And those that are sick, they will be able to heal them with this power. And the people sometimes that are blessed, they come and give thanks to God. And through this medium, they channel the, the blessing through the priest. All right? Because they now have the ability to connect to the divine as well as the, the divine realm and the physical realm. All right? Because God saw that it was the best way to connect to his people. And this was good. But it was not possible for everyone to be able to do that. So, so few people were selected to do that. All right. So they have the the gift of uh, healing and all those things. So the priest does that, have that gift. All right. You know, uh, God provide the law which uh, gave uh, instruction on how the people could consecrate and uh, made the holy uh, of themselves. So in the book of Exodus chapter 29, verse 20, 38 to 46, God put out a procedure, the kind of uh, animal that will be used, all right, during this sacrifice. So these animals were put, were laid, you have to read for yourself. They were not just uh, anyhow animals, all right? So God made that. And he said, this is how you will do it, so that I will, I will come to the scene and uh, you know, bless my people. All right, but you know, as uh, we understand what happened, something changed. The priest, as they continue to multiply, then we now have the bad ones who were disobedient. All right, they were disobedient to these uh, rules laid down by God, and then they started to act very funny. The Bible says in the book of Malachi, chapter one, you can read for yourself. We really laid it down, please. The Bible said that the, the, the prince, they started to disobey God. And they started to use some bad animals. Things that God, that irritated God. Things that God does not want. They started to use those animals. And then drive the spirit of God, move the spirit of God away. Those things that will irritate Christ, God. So they started to do it. And then we were told that God was not happy. God was not happy. And if you check the book of Malachi chapter 1 verse 10, the Bible said that God said, I will no longer accept offering from the priest. That was how God closed that door of using animals and all those kind of things. God refused to accept them. And you know, Satan you know what he, what Satan always do? So, like he, do, he, he did to Abraham when uh, Abraham deceived Abraham and take the power and then make Abraham a slave. The same thing, he deceived the priest and uh, take, took over the knowledge of the prince and start to tell them what to do. You know, encourage them to use bad animals, you know, dead animals, you know, things that does not make sense. And then they start to evoke uh, angels, demons, and all those powers. All right? So they start to do things with Satan. And then, again, what was meant to bless the people? What was meant to lift body? Satan start to now recruit people who now use the same uh, gift to perpetrate evil in the land. 
They will not have people who use the gift to afflict people with sickness and diseases. You know, afflict community, destroy people, cause havoc. You know, Satan will tell them what to do. We will, you know, show deceptive to them, give them more power and all that. Tell them to consult this demon, consult this demon that will give you intelligence and all those things. And people start to, you know, embrace this because there are people who really like to do evil. So they, this, this was an opportunity for them. So they start to embrace this power and start to use it to destroy. All right. But remember, Satan did not give this power. This power was given by God. The purpose of that power was to bless people, was to heal people, was to lift burden. All right. But now that the power is now in the hand of the wicked ones, they now use that power to do not just evil, but they also use it to see, to kill, and to destroy nations. I pray that this message will get to you. Because right now I know many people are looking at the case, but let me tell you, I'm talking to people who have the title of you know you know yourself you have the power to be able to assess the the, 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 the spirit realm all right i'm talking to you because you should know what is happening you know but you should know where christ stands in this matter because this is so important for you all right not all of them are evil there are so many of them who were who were born into this kind of uh, community where they practice uh, witchcraft and all this kind of power. And these people, it is not in their mind to do those things. So they find themselves doing it, consider this to be a culture, a way of life. So this message is for you. It will help you to understand that though you are in your position there, you can still do something to change your life so that you can live a better life. All right? So whatever gift you have, that gift was actually given by God Almighty. It was not meant to destroy people, but it was meant to heal, to restore lives, all right? To lift body, to bless people, all right? This is so important for you. So do not say that because you, are, you were born here, this is our culture, that you cannot live, no, all right? You can live, you can live there. You can actually come and work for Christ, Jesus, and Remove your hand from every evil, all right? So that you can use your gift to worship God, to do the purpose of which it was released in the first place. This is so important for you, all right? Please, may God help your spirit and may God touch your heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Uh, you know, when those, uh, those bad people got the power in their hands, what surprised them, what made them to be more active was that because, you know, Satan, the way they do things, so when they actually perform the rituals, what the, the result was so fast, all right, so fast. When they want to kill somebody, they perform a ritual and somebody is dead. So when they want to cause havoc, they perform the rituals, the person will be dead, something will happen. So they say, wow, this is good. So they started to practice this. All right. And it's not here. You know men, human beings. So they like power. So they like this kind of... So they started to practice it. So to stop it became very difficult. All right. But that does not mean it's good. All right. You should know that it's not good. Yeah. But among the people that are doing this, there are many of them that, that don't like what is happening. Yet they are there. They have the power. They were told to keep people to, to do this. But... Truly, they don't like it. They don't like it. So you, this message is for you. It's a chance for you to come out from where you are and use this power for Christ to save the life of people, to bless people, all right? To win so to Jesus. This is so important. That power belongs to God. It does not belong to Satan. Satan has no power, all right? All power belongs to God and has been accorded to Jesus Christ. So we must know this. So the power you have 
that you are using it to do evil does not mean you cannot repent of your sin and live there and be cleansed by Christ so that you can work for Christ. All right? You can do that. So all you need to do is to come to the Lord, genuinely come to Jesus Christ and submit that power to him. And he will renew you and you will work for him. May God help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh, in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 14, whatsoever God does is final. We both know that. People say, why do you, why if God dies again, why God don't just remove the power? Why do you allow the power to stay? Why this thing? Uh, we should know that when God created a man, the man lives forever. Though Satan tried to trick the man, it does not make God to destroy the man. We are still here. All right? So when God gave that power, his idea was to connect to his people, the lost souls. All right? But Satan always have a way of hijacking it. All right? So, through some igno you know, ignorance of wicked people. All right? So that is it. So that Satan hijacked it does, does not mean that God should take that power away. God wants to connect with his people. Right? It is due only, that through, only through that power that he can connect. So he will allow the power to be. But it is bad for people to continue to use it to perpetrate evil. Alright? So this is why we are saying this to you today. That if you are in a position of power, a divine power, and whatever you are, you are a spiritualist, you are a native daughter, you are a seer, a palm reader, whatever, whatever post you take in the world. We should know that that power does not belong to Satan. It was not meant to serve Satan. It was not meant to do the will of Satan. That power was meant, actually, to connect the people of Christ so that they can walk or live for Christ. All right? So stop using it to perpetrate evil. Stop using the power to do evil. And let's come together and walk to bring people of God to Him through Christ Jesus. This is so important. All right? I want you to think about it. And may God help your heart as you think about that in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, as Adam was tricked in the Garden of Eden, and he was stripped off from his power, the same thing, the priests were tricked by Satan. Yes, it, you know, when the priests got the power and they were using it wisely, Satan creeped in and started to tell them, you know, don't you know that you can talk to angels? Do you know that you can talk to demons? Do you know that you can cause all these demons? And then before you know it, they didn't know where they find themselves. You know, the power is a portal which you use to connect to the divine world. All right? So the knowledge was given to a specific people, not everyone. So when Satan gets the hold of those people and they start to now direct their heart to consult their spirit, to consult their angels, you know, it is not the will of God for you to be seeing your angel and, and start to know the names of your angel. That was not the will of God. The will of God is to know him. The angels were meant to serve you. So when the prince started to now consult the angels that were meant to guide them, started to know the names of angels and all those kind of things, that was how they started to do things abnormal that does not correspond to the will of God. So that is what Satan does. Today we know that he go about telling you that you have angel, you have uh, this thing, and ask you to call your angel, call your demon, and all those kind of things. And then you start to get your life complicated. All right? So this is what he does. He, he, he deceived the, the prince and made them to call angels, call demons, and call all kind of things. What was meant, the portal that was meant to call God Almighty, the Holy One, to come and heal his people, become a play, a, a tool they used to call demons and all those kind of things. All right? So this is so bad. I pray that God Almighty will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. I said before, the altar was meant to attract God, you know, through his holy offering. It has now become a place where native daughters, spiritualists, astrologers, soothsayers, seers, chief priests, prince, did not attract Satan and do the will of Satan. All right? That is the position of things. They are now working for Satan. It is not the will of God for you to, to use that, that uh, your gift to serve Satan. All right? That gift was meant to serve God. 
to connect the people of God to him. All right? So you should know that. I want you to know today that even with all the mistakes you have made, you will say that uh, this thing I'm, still, I'm talking now, how can I repent? This is too much. I have killed many people. I have destroyed many crops. Destroyed many people. How can I be able to come out of this? I want you to know that God Almighty never abandoned his people. It is not your fault that you find yourself in that condition. Perhaps you were born like that, or you find yourself in that environment, and you start to do what you do. All right? So you should know that in the book of John chapter 3, verse 16, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and that whosoever that believe in Jesus Christ will not perish but have an everlasting life. This is true. So you have a chance. All right? You have a chance. All right? So you don't sit down and say you do nothing, that nothing. No. God wants you back so that you can also use the gift that you have so that you use it to worship him, to serve him. Stop using the gift to do evil. Come and use the gift to serve God Almighty through Jesus Christ. All right? This is so important. Please. You know, as a prince, as a chief prince, whatever your position is, I want you to know that in this world today, Jesus Christ is the higher priest. All right? And you know what that means? The, in the Bible, they say there are, uh, there are uh, three grand order of priests in Hebrews. Yeah. We have the Melchizedek, we have the Petrasha, and the Aaronic uh, 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 priesthood. But the Melchizedek priesthood is the higher priesthood that incorporates all priesthood within itself. All right? And that is the position of Jesus Christ, bringing all the power, all the priests, all the people, whatever you are. Jesus Christ wants you in, in himself. He wants you back. Because that power you are using belongs to God. You don't need to use it to do evil. This is so important. All right? You wonder why you who consider yourself a bad person. You call, they call you the most demonic person, devil or whatever. You don't know why sometimes you do good. Do you know that sometimes you do good? Sometimes you feel pity for people. Sometimes you feel, oh, why are these people like this? You Sometimes you want to help. Yes, because you are a good person. You are good. But Satan always comes once in a while to attack you. Satan always comes once in a while to make your life miserable, to use you to do those evil. Satan cannot do those things. You should know that. You are the one. All right? You are the machine that they use. So you are just a tool used by Satan. So you should know that God did not create, give you that gift to serve, to allow Satan to be using you anyhow, out of ignorance. And you go about killing, stealing, and destroying people. Huh? You should give up on Satan and tell Satan, enough. Enough is enough. I know I have my gift. I submit to Christ Jesus. You know, you know there is something about this thing. Ordinary people, we talk, they don't understand the importance of what they say. But you that is holding the gift, I'm talking about the gift, divine gift, and you are a native daughter, you are a spiritualist, you are a soothsayer, you are a palm reader, whatever you are. I want you to know that you know what it means when you say, I submit to Jesus Christ. You know that that word is strong. It's not just an ordinary word. So, Submit to Jesus and confess that. Once you do that, your life will not remain the same again. Christ will immediately come into the same and take hold of you and grab you out of your darkness into a marvelous life. This is true. But you must have to give up all those evil things and come to God. You are the one that will come to him. All right? He's knocking at the door asking you to open. You will be the one to open that door for Christ himself to come in. Satan knows how to invade your privacy, but Christ never invades your privacy. He gives you a chance, you know, to take your decision, to decide what you want. You must open that door for him to come in. All right? This is so important. Don't brag about the power you have. Don't say, yeah, you have power, you can kill, you can destroy. No, don't say that. Because this power belongs to God Almighty. All right? So it was meant to serve him. And him alone. Right? So do not allow Satan to continue to deceive you. 
I pray that God Almighty will help you to take this decision, this very strong decision that will change the course of your life so that you will live for God, which is the original purpose of your existence. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Jesus Christ is our higher priest in order of Melchizedek. The book of Acts chapter 10, verse 42, Jesus Christ was ordained of God to be the judge of the living and the dead. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God Almighty, through the ordinance of the higher priesthood, in order of Melchizedek, is bringing to himself every ordained priest. No matter where you are, God is bringing his power back. He's retrieving his power. So, it is better you give up on your evil and come back to God through Christ Jesus Christ, who, who is the higher prince that we have today. Alright, this is so important for you. You should know that. Uh, come back to him uh, and walk with Christ. Alright, this is the right thing to do. The witches and wizards, they know that Christ lives. All the powers that be know that Christ lives. No matter who you are, you know that Christ lives. So why are you delaying? Why do you continue to do evil with the power that you have? You know that that power belongs to God Almighty. Why do you hold that power and be using it to do evil? You are saying that uh, if the power belongs to God, why can't you take it? You should remember that God is God. When he created a man, he did not destroy the man. He gave man time to repent. And the same thing goes with the power. When he gives that power to be able to connect to his people, he gives that power. The power exists. He will not take it. But that is the method to reach his people. That you are doing evil does not mean others are doing evil. There are people that are using the same power to play, to worship God, to connect people, and to heal people. So you should learn to use that power now. Walk with Christ and use the power to heal the world so that you will have a place in him. So that your soul will not be destroyed in hell. This is so important. May God help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. God Almighty, through the ordinance of the high priest, yes, in order of making is bringing to himself every ordained priest. So no matter where you are, it will not take time. But it's better you take your choice because the time is very fast. So the you should be very fast about your decision because it's very important that you, you come to him. Alright? It's the right thing to do. There's no better time. The best time is now. May God help you to take that decision in Jesus' name. Amen. So I don't know, you know whatever position you hold today, it doesn't matter your present situation, your position. You know, you may find yourself, uh, you know, practicing any kind of evil, whatever you Till you find yourself, I want you to know that it doesn't matter. You might be labeled as a native daughter, as a spiritualist, as a soothsayer, as a palm reader, an astrologist, you know, whoever, a, a tarot card, whatever you, the name they call you. I want you to know that you have a chance with Christ. All right? You have a chance with Christ. All you need to do is to give up your evil way and accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, He will wash you and wear you a new cloth, right? So that you can walk with Him. The power remains. He gave you power. That power, you use it to worship God, to heal people, to lift body, to bless people and not cause people, right? This is so important. I sincerely pray that God Almighty will minister to your heart so that you will understand, all right? In Jesus' name. Amen. Do not forget that the disobedient uh, of the high priest, no matter how it is, cannot contradict him. God cannot contradict himself. Right? God gave that power all right, to, to heal the world. So there is no way you will expect that uh, you are doing uh, your evil way and then you expect God to understand and know that, yes, today you do evil, the other day you do good. You think that God will work with you. That is not how it works. You have to stand on one side. If you are the side of Christ, you are the side of Christ. 
If you are the son of the Satan, you are the son of Satan. There is no way your good will not bring you to heaven. Your good will bring you to your good will only bring you to heaven when you walk with the right source. And the right source is the higher priest, Jesus Christ. That is the truth. You know about it because you you know you are spiritual, you are divine, you know all those things. So there is nothing anybody can do to you know more than even most of Christians, most of the people in the church. You know more than that. You know Jesus Christ because you are spiritual. When you do evil, you see him in action. So you should learn to leave your evil way and come to him so that you walk with him. All right. When you walk with God with that your power, you will do well, you will do better. All right. When you you that, that is doing evil, you start to do good. You start to touch people's life in a positive way. I want to assure you, you will be blessed. You will be respected. You can come out and say, "I was this before. I was doing this evil before. Today, Christ has found me. I am in Christ. Now I am doing this good. Not to think that that would be much better. Yes, that will make your life much better, and you will have a place with God. This is important. I sincerely pray that God will touch your heart." So that you will come to him genuinely and serve God through Christ Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So there are rules that govern the humans and the spirit realm called covenant. So ignorance is the root of disobedience to God Almighty. Adam and Eve transfer power to Satan, as I said before, through a covenant that was created in their ignorance. You know that. All right. So we should be careful. In the book of Malachi, the prince of, of God transferred power to Satan through ignorance. And that is, was a very terrible situation. I pray that God Almighty will help you to understand that though you have the power that you use to do evil, it does not belong to Satan. That, that power belongs to God. It was meant to serve God, not Satan. Satan has a jack that power and start to use you. It's using you and later it will destroy you here. So you should realize yourself that you are a man God created. And you are special. You are a king. That's why you have that power. It was not meant to do evil. God will not punish you now. God give you the chance to come to him. He doesn't force you. Why God will not force you? Because you are a king. You are special. Alright? You are so special. So you cannot be touched anyhow. Satan knew that's why he uses you anyhow. But God does not use you. He gave you a chance to take your decision by yourself. You know what that means? Your own right is giving you your own right. It's your right to take your own decision. To accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior is your own right. You take the decision by yourself. All right? So it's not hard for God to take the power from you. But because He knows who you are, that you are special, that's why He leaves you to take your own decision. This voice that is coming to you today, it was made for you to realize yourself and come back to God willingly. Willingly. You return back home. All right? The prodigal son, no one forces him to return back home. He took the decision to go back home. All right? So you should know that. Please, think about it and come back to God. Take this power back to God and, wo and walk with God. All right? God does not take power from you. He, he owns that power. He will walk with you to liberate other people. Those people that have been chained under your command. They will all be set free. You know what that means? Those people that you have changed for a long time with this power. Those people that you have put in custody, in bondage. Because you come back to Christ, you will set them free. And they will be free. And that is a victory for you. You should know that. You have a place to celebrate with God. Knowing that you have given up all those evil and that you come back to him willingly. I tell you, you will be glad you did. Yes. I sincerely pray that God will touch your heart so that you will release all these sins, all this evil way, and come back to God so that you will walk with God with this your gift. Yes, to bless people, to lift body, and to heal the sick, and to give thanks to God. May God help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bible said that do not worry about uh, what you are saying, what uh, about uh, how we go look at me when it, when I when I come like this. So the book of Acts chapter uh, seventeen, verse thirty to thirty one say, truly those times of ignorance God overlook, but now command all men everywhere to repent 
because he has appointed a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness by the man whom he has ordained, Jesus Christ. You see that? You can read for yourself the book of Acts chapter 17, verse 30 to 31. All right, there's a time set apart to destroy those who are disobedient, who have refused to repent. Do you want to be destroyed along with those evil people? I know you don't want that. So you do not say, because I was born into a witchcraft, my community, we are witchcraft. Our culture is witchcraft. But because of that, I cannot live. No, don't say that. All right, don't say that. You must know that you have a choice in this matter. Your choice to choose Christ Jesus, to leave every evil thing behind and hold on to Christ is your own choice. It's a personal choice. You are not going to heaven with your brother or sister or friends or community. You are going to stand alone. So take your decision and live for God. This is your personal decision. All right? I know that you are hearing me. And I know that God Almighty is touching your heart to give up all the evil way and come back to him, to serve him and him alone. And I believe that you will take this right decision and that your name, the name of God Almighty, will be glorified in your life. All right? This is good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus Christ of Nazareth today is asking you to give up all evil ways. He asking you to come and walk with him. This is what he's saying to you today. The book of James chapter 10, verse 10. John chapter 10, verse 10. The thief come to steal, to kill, and destroy. But Jesus Christ come that you might have life more abundantly. Your order, the purpose of Satan is to kill your body, destroy your soul here, swallow you up. All right? But you know, you should know that. Satan is, does not mean anything good for you. That you use your decision to do evil and get some money to take care of your body, that is nothing. You, you can do good things, heal people's life. All right? It's part of which you know it's not good. You manipulate people, you destroy people full of deception, manipulation, confusion. That is what you do. And that is not what Christ wants. So you should leave all those witchcraft and all those evil ways and come to Christ so that your life will be well patterned by Him. This is so important. He wants this. Christ wants this. That power belongs to Him. Come back and submit your power to Christ. He will renew you and you will work for Him. You can still heal people, restore people's life, talk to people about Him, walk hand in hand with Him, liberate people that are in captive. This is what He wants. You can do this, alright? All you need to do is to submit your power to Him, to Christ Jesus. And then you will find your life transformed by him. May God help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, I believe that uh, when you refuse to honor this call, it means that uh, you, you want to continue to do your evil way. You want to continue to steal. Want to continue to destroy people? You believe that, that you want to continue to work for Satan, and I don't think uh, you like that. I don't think that that is what you want. I don't think that is what you want. That you want to continue to do evil, and not want to continue to uh, destroy people, cause sickness, kill people with your eye, with your evil eye. You are sending sending evil arrows to destroy people. Is that what you really want? Eh? You know, destroy uh, pregnant women, cause death of men destroy people's farm crops causing havoc in the community is that what you really want i know that is not what you want all right what you want is to do the right thing that is what you want and that's why each time you do bad you you return back you feel bad you don't feel good because you is satan that enters you to use you you should let satan go so that god can enter you so that Christ will continue to function in you. That way, you will not do evil anymore. With your power, you will be doing good. You will be helping God to heal the world. All right? To bring his people back. All right? This is what you want. So I believe that you, you, you will not sit back and continue in your evil way. Of killing, stealing, and destroying. I don't think that is what you want. And I believe that God Almighty will touch your heart. Yes, so that uh, you will understand that in Jesus' name. Amen. Because what Satan wants is for you to continue to kill people. 
what Satan wants so is for you to continue to steal from people. What Satan wants so is for you to continue to destroy people, do evil. That is what he wants. He never wants you to be, do good. And he knew that at the end you will be destroyed. All right? He's wiser than you, that you have the power to move around. People fear you. That is absolutely nothing. Remember, you will die. And when you die, what will happen? You see that? Once he finished using your body, your soul is in him. He has swallowed your soul. The target is that on the last day when God will destroy him, your soul will be inside of him. You know that? But when you come to God, now, now that you are alive now, you come to God Almighty through Jesus Christ, Christ will remove your soul from Satan. All right? And take your soul back to himself. You cannot begin to work with him. This is so important. Because Satan wants to swallow all the good people so that the soul, so that on the last day they will all perish together in hell. Alright? So Christ has not come to waste his time. Christ has come to save you. You especially. You that hold this power. And you are using it to do evil. Christ has come to redeem you back. To bring you back to himself. Alright? That's why he's become the high priest. Alright? But you must work with him to be able to connect to the greater light. You can't continue in darkness. May God help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So what man, what man wants is peace, joy, comfort, which can only come from God. So all of us, as far as, no matter who you are, we all want peace. We all want comfort. We all want joy. And we can only get this from God. We don't get all those things from money. All right? We get this peace joy, comfort from God. It comes from God. Alright, through Christ Jesus. Now you know that when you keep people and steal from people and destroy people, you will not have peace. There is no joy in them. Alright? So that is the reason why I'm telling you today. The power of priesthood that you use to keep, to steal and to destroy, you should you know that this is not good. You are, you are on the wrong track. Alright? You should come to Christ Jesus and use that power to heal, to lift body, to heal the sick, all right, to bless people. That is the purpose of that power, all right. Satan has deceived Abraham, Adam, and he has succeeded, and has deceived the priest that was given this power, and have succeeded. But you, do you want Satan to continue to use you? Don't you know it's time for you to give up on Satan? And say it is enough. I cannot be used by you, Satan. Get behind me. I think it's the right time to do that. You say that to Satan. Get behind me. I want to go to my God. I want to go to where I belong. I belong to God Almighty. Yes, we have Jesus Christ who will take you on the reeds, on that ark, where you will enter and you will be saved. May you God help you to get to him and confess Christ genuinely in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You should remember that Jesus Christ of Nazareth did not come to this earth to punish us. No. He did not come here to disturb, to destroy us. No, that was not his plan. Alright? Jesus Christ did not come here to punish us. He did not come here to, to destroy our life. But he came here to reconcile us to God Almighty. That was his, that is his plan. Alright? Oh, hello. Ah, hello, people here. Oh, thank you. Pastor Nancy, how are you? Thank you so much. Oh, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you, everyone? Where, Catherine? God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, God bless you. Happy Sunday. Thank you so much, all of Thank you. All right, we discuss it today the, the, the power of priesthood. All right, so we take our test from the book of uh, the book of uh, uh, Exodus. Let me see. Uh, we take uh, uh, yes, there's a chapter 29, verse 29. And uh, please, I want you to read, all right? I want you to check there and read for yourself, all right? Because God Himself has He gave us power, He gave a uh, power to the priest, and that power was meant to save the world, to heal us, to lift body, to bless us. But Satan, as Satan has succeeded to deceive Adam, he also succeeded to deceive the priest that was holding this power. And so getting this knowledge, he changed, he deceived the heart of the prince and they started to use the power to perpetrate evil. Where they were supposed to 
sacrifice good things to God in the book of Malachi chapter 1. The Bible said they started to do evil and started to sacrifice dead things, bad things. And then God was, was not pleased. And then in the book of Malachi chapter 1 verse 10, the Bible said God rejected the prince. And then from that time, the prince started to do evil. They will not have different kind of posts. They have naked daughter. They have different kind of things. They were using this power that God actually released for us. They were using it to do all these things. And Jesus Christ was released to us. And today we have Jesus Christ. The Bible says Jesus Christ has become the higher priest who is now bringing all the prince to himself. So whatever you are, if you are using this power, divine power, and you think you are doing it, using it to do evil, I want you to know that that power belongs to God. And God wants that power back. All right? So you should bring come back to God and work for God genuinely. All right? Through Jesus Christ. Yes, this is so important. But that is the will of God. All right? May God help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want you to know that Satan will continue to force you to disobey God. You know, that is it. But Jesus Christ will never force you to choose. Jesus Christ always ask, knock at the door and ask you to come. You see that? But Satan forced you. When he come to you, he forced you to do things. You know, he lied to you. All right? And that is something very important. Satan lies to you, but Christ Jesus, he will come to you and will give you the chance to choose because he knows who you are, that you are special. You are a royal priesthood. You are a peculiar one. You are not a slave. All right? That's why he knock first. He knock at the door and ask you to open door for him. Open door for me, please. Because you are special. But Satan come and violate your privacy and take advantage of you, of you and use you anyhow and deceive you. And then you continue to work with Satan. Let's think about this. All right? Let's think about it. Today I implore all of you to choose wisely. Choose Jesus Christ of Nazareth for the salvation of your soul. May God Almighty help you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please, if you know that you are a native daughter, you are a herbalist, you are involved in all those kind of things, and uh, you understand that what we just, uh, uh, the message of today, and you want to submit to Christ Jesus, I want you to know that this is the right choice. It's the best choice to make. All right? There's no other better choice. All right, the power you have as a native daughter, as a spiritualist, or whatever chief priest, prince, whatever you, whatever you are, belongs to God Almighty. That power was meant to do good, not evil. It was not meant for you to kill, to steal, and to destroy. That power was meant for you to heal the world, all right, to restore people's life, to lift body, to bless people. That was the purpose of that power. Whatever God do is good and perfect. But Satan has hijacked it from time past and has been using it to perpetrate evil. All right? You must know today that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is here to help you, to help you restore this power back to God. All right? So it's now up to you to walk with God, walk with Christ. This is what he wants. Christ wants you to walk with him now. You have a chance now to do that. For the salvation of your soul. Remember, when you come to Christ, the first thing you do, you are setting many people free. Those people that you have changed for so long. Because the power is strong. You know, the power of God, you have the ability to use it to change people's life in darkness. When you come to God today, you will be able to set people free. Most of those people that have been chained under your command, they will be released. And that is a point for you in heaven. All right? Let us think about it. All right? So no matter where you are right now as a native daughter, you have this power. You have chained many people. You have hold them bondage. You can set them free. You can say, I want to release those people and I want to work for Christ today. And you both know your word is your bound. When you say those words and you actually mean it, I know that Christ himself will come into the scene. We both know that you know Christ. You know Christ is not fake. You know, because you know. Therefore, you can come to him genuinely and ask Christ to come into the scene and use you. You will be doing good with the same gift. All right? Working for God. 
and exposing the kingdom of darkness. That is it. I pray that God Almighty will help you to do this. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you genuinely believe this and you want to do this, I want you to uh, uh, I want you to make this confession with me. The book of Romans chapter 10 verse, uh, uh, verse 9. The Bible says that if you can't believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, that God Almighty has raised Christ from the dead, so you'll be saved. Also, upon that ground, on that ground, we have to make a confession before, before God Almighty. Say after me. Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner, and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. Today, I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my life and take over my heart, my body, my soul and spirit. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and my Savior. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, that was great. You have made the right choice and I assure you, you will be blessed. May God continue to keep your heart and take care of you. This prayer I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, everyone. God bless you all. I hope we see uh, again very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.